today we are going to make a color wheel using oil pastels. Uh, you've got a color wheel right here. Write your name and your class number on the top. Now, um, I have given you um, the primary color locations and then we have to make the secondary tertiary colors in the middle and then the lighter colors in the center ring and darker values in the outer ring. So to do so, we need to start with our oil pastels. Now I currently have the box of oil pastels is brand new, the colors look really nice and organized and clean. We wanna keep it like this as long as possible. Um, they probably won't last too long like that, but let's try. So first thing, we're gonna do, I will start with red. Okay, um, now that's easy. Uh, I give you the red, so you just apply your color. Now, oil pastels are a little tricky because it, unlike a crayon or a colored pencil, this doesn't have a point to it. So you just have to be careful to stay in the lines. Um, sometimes it's not best to go back and forth um, it tends to leave a more of a texture. Um, the best way to apply oil pastels is actually in small overlapping circles. You don't have to press too hard. If you notice that you're getting lots of little pieces of pastel, then you're pressing too hard. If you only have a little bit of that, then that's fine. But if you've got tons of those pieces coming off, then you're just pressing too hard. So that's pretty straightforward. You've got your red. Now, as I said, we wanna make what's called a tint in the middle. That is a lighter version of your color. So in order to make a lighter version of red, we are going to add white to that. Now, because my white is brand new, it looks really pristine. Um, after a while, it might end up looking like this. This is what some of the pastels end up looking like towards the end of the project. Now, I would not want to apply this like this onto my paper because I'd get all these other colors there and it would make a mess. So you should always have a piece of paper towel handy to clean off your pastel with. And really, that just means kind of wiping it and you're just kind of wiping the color off. Now you can see it's nice and clean and I'd be able to use it. Um, so I will use it. So whenever you're mixing colors with oil pastels, um, the trick is to put the lighter color down first. So I'm going to put the white down, filling the space. Okay. Now I'm going to layer the red on top. Uh, I wanna press very lightly, if I press too hard, it will get too dark. So very lightly, very light little line, uh, circles. Okay. Now that does not look blended, right? It just looks like red circles on top of a white background. The trick with oil pastels is to layer and blend with the lighter color. If this was chalk pastels, you would use maybe your finger or a smudging stick. We do not want to do that with oil pastels. Do not ever want to blend with your finger with oil pastels. Um, you're gonna make a mess if you do. So instead, very light pressure, overlapping circles, the lighter color. We'll blend. And if you have dark spots, lighten it up. If there's an area that's too light, you could always go back very lightly, add a little bit more red. blend with oil pastels. It's all about layering and how hard or soft you're pressing. If I pressed too hard with the white, watch what happens. It would just push the red out of the way and just leave it white. So it really is a very light pressure in order to blend them together. And that's how you make your tints, your lighter color. For the outside, you're going to make a shade, a darker version. So for that, we are using black, um, and as I said before, you always put your lighter color down first. So that's going to be my red. Okay. 
Now, you don't just want to do like two lines of, uh, two or three lines and try to smudge it. That won't work. You'll still see those two or three lines. You need light pressure, the darker color all over in an even way. And just like before, you go back with the lighter color, very light pressure. You can go back and forth a little bit. Now it won't be totally even, it's not like you're mixing paint. Um, there will be a little bit of a texture, just the oil pastel texture, and that's okay. Um, so then what you'll do is you are going to start with your three primary colors the same way, yellow and blue. Be very careful with yellow and that black, it could really take over. And then in between yellow and red, um, hold off on what's called your tertiary colors and instead make your secondary colors. So for this one, it would be orange between red and yellow, between yellow and blue is green, and between blue and red is violet. Okay, so do those six colors first with the pure color that is given to you in the box, mix with the white for the lights, mix with the black for the darks.